So Mark, you know, I read uh, you sang Fly Me to the Moon with an orchestra a couple of months ago. Uh, yeah, with uh, Fred Radke and the Harry James Orchestra. What was that like? You know, I was surprised to uh, you know, hear that you were a singer. And stuff. They're incredible musicians. It's, it's, uh, it's just an honor to be on stage with them. What does, it feel, what does it feel like to continue your father's legacy? And, you know, he means so much to so many people in the whole world to, you know, be the man who walked on the moon, really. So. Where's the... I to think more about the, the Apollo legacy rather than any individual. The Apollo legacy inspired, you know, so many people all over the world uh, to go on and do, you know, follow their dreams. Uh, that's really what I think about. I agree. How do you feel about uh, space education these days? Do you feel uh, it's dropped off a little bit, that there's less kids interested, or do you feel... Because uh... I, feel, I feel there was a time in the 50s when there was a sense of wonder. Everybody wanted to make it to the moon. And these days, you know, people are more interested in their phones a little bit. So I'm curious how you feel about that. I, I think the kids uh, are, are interested. They're all, kids are always interested. Uh, unfortunately, the, the curriculum hasn't always kept up with that. I know I looked in my daughter's history book a few years ago. There was one paragraph about the entire space program. And that was kind of shocking to me that, that you know, that there weren't uh, a lot more attention paid to that. So that's something that I think really needs to be addressed because the kids' interest is there. There's no question about it. I, w I would just add that, uh, you know, this space provides this sort of blank canvas for a lot of imagination. And, and, and I think the younger you get kids thinking about that, the better. And I think there's a lot of reason uh, to be optimistic. There are new plans to go back to the moon in 2024, and uh, I'm really excited about those plans. I'm curious, I know it's my last question. Uh, did either of you ever want to be astronauts like your father? I'm sure you must have heard it a bunch of times, but I don't know. We didn't know how the uh, program was going to Absolutely. Go. I mean, we, I, I, just being for myself, I, I was very interested in, in, uh, in becoming an astronaut. It just wasn't clear. Uh, it wasn't clear to me what that path was. And while I was on that path, I, uh, I fell in love with uh, computer technology and spent a lot of time in Silicon Valley. You create web TV, by the way? This web TV, yes. Yeah. We're going to uh, yeah, I'd love to be uh, I'd love to be weightless looking down at the earth. Absolutely, that would be great. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.